Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. Today I thought we could talk about medication. Who has decided they're going to stop taking the antidepressant rather than the vaccine? Even if you miss a dose of the vaccine, the side effects are. I can't believe someone actually is just decreasing the dose on their own and dealing with these side effects because the side effects of the vaccine are horrific if you miss a dose. Now, I used to forget to take my medication when I lived on my own, or I just didn't take it, which is what led to me being so ill. So, take your meds, kids. The thing that gets me about this, people stopping taking their meds without seeing a consultant or even speaking to a therapist about it is they was put on medication for a reason. That was an attempt to try and help treat your mental illness. The reason this person's stopping them is because when the vaccine lowers your sex drive and they miss that part in their life. But at the same time, you got to realise that you're dealing with depression as well. And she's already saying she's depressed coming off it. So why would you continue to stop it? But when I used to miss doses of the vaccine, it was brutal. It made me feel really shaky, my blood sugar would crash, I'd be crying, I couldn't control my temperature. I felt like I'm, I was going to pass out. They're just not nice side of that. Now, I've never bluntly stopped taking a medication. I've always taken, most of the time, all my medication as prescribed because I believe my medication works. I believe it's about trial and error. I think what this person should have done instead of just stopping taking their antidepressant, they should have said to their prescriber they don't want to take it anymore so there's something else they can try. Because that deals with the depression and the low sex drive. So I, I, say to, I, I say this to everyone with all the research I've done, all my lived experiences, other people's stories, please never stop taking your medication without speaking to the prescriber. You were prescribed it for a reason and it's important to understand that Maybe you do need the medication to help. One medication that I did come off quite quickly was quetiapine because it was horrific. But I took, I stopped that when I started on haloperidol. There was no crossover with it. I stopped as soon as I got off quetiapine. I was part of haloperidol. I, I, in the last ten years, I've never had a break in what I take. I've never been off medication. I, I'm on, I've been on medication for over ten years, and that's okay. I needed it to get through basically life. I take an antipsychotic, I take a mood stabiliser, I take an antidepressant, I take a sleeping tablet, I take benzos. The medication I take, I take for a reason. And this is what I explained to my GP about the clonazepam in particular. Because my psychiatrist wants me to come off it, but my GP has sat and listened to me explain why I need to be on it. The reason I need to be on it is because it's the only thing that controls my anxiety. I've tried beta blockers and my anxiety, they made me ill. I genuinely think I, that clonazepam keeps, is what keeps my anxiety calm and taking it twice a day. I take it midday and I take it at night. I wouldn't mind stopping the at night shot, the night time one, because I'm on a sleeping tablet, but I don't want to stop taking it completely because it does really help me. And people are going to say you're addicted to it. And, an addict, whatever. I'm not addicted to it. I, I can go without it, and I have gone without it. I've got to go without it Friday. Just don't do anything to your medication on your own. I really would advise against it. So yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you are new, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my little ramble about medication. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the subject. Leave it in the comments down below, and I'll read it and get back to you. Got any questions you want to ask? About anything, it could be anything about mental health or just general, I'll make a video answering your question. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.